this is my fourth year of uh, of uh, of using cover crops for soil health. The first two years were just on a real small trial basis, five, ten acres, just trying to get a feel of what it would take to get get them to grow and and that that sort of thing. This is my second second year of full scale uh, planting cover crops. I started out just experimenting uh, just strictly with tillage radish and read, reading the magazines about their magical benefits and everything. And then uh, in year two, I decided to uh, throw in some uh, grasses and, uh, and clovers. Uh, last year, I did a full scale of cereal rye, uh, uh, crimson clover, and, and tillage radish. Uh, I tried, I experimented a little bit with some, with some oats, some Austrian winter peas, and, and veg. I kind of like what I saw saw then, so this year I'm going with a, a mixture of a cereal rye, crimson clover, radish, a, a little bit of rye grass, a, a little bit of veg, and Austrian winter peas. My biggest, my biggest goal is to improve the soil structure to, and the organic matter to, to hold more water and to increase the water infiltration into the soils because during the summer if you get an inch rain, but only two tenths soaks in and the rest of it runs off, it's not benefiting you. So I'm trying to get the most I'm trying to get the most benefit out of the rainfall we can get during during the summer. I don't have a single acre that's suitable for irrigation, a small small fields, tree lines, so uh, this is the only way I can irrigate my fields by holding more water because we have ample rainfall in West Tennessee. It might not always be at the right time, but if I can if I can grab the rainfall that does that does fall and store it into the soil for the critical crop growing times, that's my my irrigation. So these roundtable uh, discussions that uh, Brad and Madison County put on has been uh, beneficial because uh, I learned I learned the most not necessarily from reading a magazine from what somebody's doing out west, but by talking with other growers and networking, just tossing around ideas. We so we say what's worked for us, what hasn't worked for us, and it's really, uh, it's really helped speed up the, the learning process because there's not a lot of data out here. and uh, it, It's really helped, helped me to understand what, what I may try. I only get to try this once a year, and if I try the wrong thing, I've kind of lost a year. But if I can pick something else that someone else has tried, I can uh, hopefully speed up the process of getting benefits out of cover crops.